Meet Jared. Jared is 11. Jared loves sports, any sport. He is great at playground games, like Foursquare, soccer, tag, or any other game kids can make up. At recess, Jared is always picked first for the team. Jared's all-time favorite day of the school year is sports day. This is where he shines the most. Jared lives in a busy household with his parents, grandma, aunt, and two younger cousins. And last but not least, his best pal, Ranger. Jared loves to compete, but at the same time, this can stress him out. Winning is very important to Jared, which can sometimes get him into trouble. Let's just say it's not exactly uncommon for the lunch supervisor to have to come over and talk to Jared during a soccer game. Sports isn't the only place where worries show up for Jared. When he was younger, Jared felt extra worried when he had to say goodbye to his parents and go to school. Worries show up for Jared in the classroom too, especially during math class. Math is Jared's arch enemy. Jared has two things going on in his brain. He has an anxiety disorder and a learning disorder. Some people, like Jared, can have more than one disorder at the same time. Let's take a closer look. It's hard for Jared's brain to make sense of math. It takes a lot of extra work for him to get it. He worries about falling behind or people thinking he's dumb. That worsens his anxiety, which makes focusing on trying to learn math even harder, which stresses him out even more. All people get worried sometimes. In fact, our brains work to keep us safe by getting us ready to fight or flee from danger. But Jared's worries are way bigger, and they get in the way of him doing the things that he needs to do. For example, Jared got so worried about his last math test that he told his parents he was sick with a stomach ache so he could stay home from school and not have to take the test. This worked for the day, but in the long run, this only made his worries worse. The next time he had to write the math test, he was even more scared, and his stomach really was upset. Sometimes, teachers think that Jared is misbehaving in class, but it's actually a result of his anxiety disorder. One time, Jared even bolted out of the classroom and he ran home. Not only did Jared need help with managing his worries, but he also needs extra support to help him learn in school. Even though Jared knows he needs help with math, he feels embarrassed when he gets pulled out of class. And the worry thoughts, they don't stop there. Jared's worries follow him around and throughout the day. And sometimes they like to pile on all at once. This especially happens at bedtime and really gets in the way when Jared is trying to sleep. Eventually, Grandma figured out that Jared's worries were a whole lot bigger than feeling nervous from time to time and that he needed help. The school psychologist discovered that Jared had both an anxiety disorder and a specific learning disorder in math. She started working with Jared to notice, understand, and manage the worry thoughts when they showed up. With the help of the psychologist, Jared learned that coloring also really helps to calm his brain and body. Sometimes Jared takes a quick break to color or draw and comes back to his schoolwork when he's ready. He knows for sure that handling worries as they come is hard, but it works way better than avoiding them. Just like practicing any sport, the more Jared faces his worries, the easier it gets. Nowadays, Jared isn't feeling so afraid of his worries because he's got some skills to handle them. And he's trying to be a little more okay with getting extra support with his schoolwork. This leaves more time for Jared to settle in and enjoy the game.